Hi, and welcome to the Three Laws of Voiceover Success. I'm Susan Berkeley, and I am so happy to have you here. But we don't have any viewers, Chris. Look at this. Zero viewers. Because <laughs> they're viewing it through the website. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Good. So, so you guys are here and we're here together. I've got a fantastic program planned for you today because we're going to talk about what's new in voiceover and what's hidden from newcomers. And this is live. You know, I've got my, my uh, fantastic audio engineer, Christopher Fox, standing by to help with any technical difficulties we might have. But I hope you had a great holiday. Uh, you should be well back into gear right now. For Pete's sake, it's almost the end of January. And this is the month I know where you're thinking about your year ahead and your year in voiceover and what you want to do. And I, I just, first of all, want to thank you for being a subscriber to my Inside Voiceover blogs. Uh, you know, we added a new, awesome new interactive feature this year and you're responding and we're getting to communicate. But I love doing these Google Hangouts because it's it's really terrific one-on-one -on -one with you and me. And you're going to be able to get uh, ask questions and I'll be here live to respond. So let's talk a little bit about what we're going to uh, be doing in our time together today. This program is right for you if you're a newcomer to voiceover or if you're somebody who used to do this you want to do more of it. You want to do it better. You're picking up a career that you had to leave behind because life happened. A lot of people are in that boat. Maybe you're on the runway to retirement, as I call it. That's my term. For people who are getting ready to retire in a few years, but you really want to make sure that your ducks are in a row. And let's be frank, you don't want to be a greeter at Walmart. Oh my goodness, what a horrible thing to say. Uh, or, you know, that I'm being facetious, but you, you know, you don't want to spend the best years of your life in a rocking chair, because let's face it, 60 is the new 40, right? And uh, you have great plans for this time where you've put your career behind you and now this is your time for you. And can you imagine in voiceover how cool that is? I mean, it's you can do it from anywhere. Uh, you can put your your equipment on the back of your motorcycle like our student David Brower does and he goes and he tours around and at night he does voiceover. You know, so there's a million ways that you can swing this, but a lot of our students are on that runway to retirement. They're getting all their ducks in a row now so they have that extra source of, everything's good? Yep. Okay, good. Um, that they have that extra source of income going for them while they're in retirement. Because let's face it, you know, everybody in America today needs a gig on the side. And I don't care if you're working happily uh, or if you're not right now, because who knows what can happen? You know, there things can happen so quickly if you've got a corporate gig. And I really believe that everybody needs to be entrepreneurial. So what better way to do that in voiceover? Huge opportunity. We're going to talk about that today. Some people want to have that work from home money hobby and nothing better than that. I mean, I can take my voiceover work with me anywhere. I've got a setup at home. We just had a big snowstorm last week. I could have worked there for weeks and I did during Hurricane Sandy. I worked from home. My whole team was virtual. Uh, and maybe you just flat out always wanted to do this. Maybe you always wanted to be the voice of a video game or do audio books or do commercials. Maybe this was just something on your bucket list. All of those things are possible for you in voiceover. We're going to talk about how to make that a reality. So on today's Hangout, you're going to discover how to avoid the number one mistake that almost all newcomers make and what you should be doing instead. Sound good? You're also going to learn a winning strategy that is going to really simplify everything and shave years off your ramp up time. I didn't have this stuff when I got going. It took me years, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering, a lot of struggling, going here and there, trying to get the information that I needed that's available to you now. You know, I've always, now I'm in this career doing it full time for almost 30 years, and that's hundreds of thousands of hours of real world voiceover time that uh, I'm going to share with you. You know, when you work with me, you can pick my brains. 
And, and those often ignored voiceover success factors that separate the winners from the losers. We're going to talk about all that today. That's what's in it for you for being here on our Hangout. So let's talk a little bit about the transformation that's possible for you when you have a successful voiceover career. And I'm, I'm just thinking of some of our past students and some of the voice talent that we work with here at our production studio at The Great Voice Company. Uh, I'm thinking of Buffy O'Neill, who we hire a lot for this work. She used to be a nightclub singer. And while she loved that job, she was home very, very late. She wanted to start a family. She had young kids. It just wasn't any kind of lifestyle for a family woman. And so what she did was she started a voiceover business from a spare room and it took off. In fact, we're one of her customers and she was able to hire a nanny. She's home all day with her kids. The nanny keeps, keeps an eye on them. And then three, four o'clock, she wants to leave, get involved with their after school activities. She can, no problem, but she is making serious money, a great income right from a little room off her master bedroom and her whole life has changed. It's a terrific, terrific lifestyle. I'm thinking of another one of our students too, who uh, had a, a very stressful day job where he was traveling a lot. He was spending a lot of his time in Europe and back home in New Jersey, one of his sons had become a really big um, football star. And what happened was he was, he was still in high school and this student of ours was missing all of his son's games and, you know, was eating on him and eating on him. He just, he just couldn't take it anymore. You know, you have one life to live, right? I mean, these are pre precious years. So what he did was he, he took all of our programs, actually took the boot camp like three different times and he made the leap and it was a little slow going at first, but then eventually he landed a gig that paid like $90,000. It took him one year, it was a large e-learning project and launched his career in a very short period of time. He was able to build his home studio, be home, be working, be with his son. It's phenomenal, phenomenal uh, difference for him. Then we've got Captain Pam, now, Pam Allman. She's out there now, she's the captain's voice. She's doing extremely well. She came to our boot camp. she learned all the marketing, she got the inspiration and in her case, she really is a captain. She flies 747s or she flew, but she had a health issue where she needed to take pain medication. And that means, you know, you can't fly. So she started her home-based voiceover business, built out a great studio. She's working like crazy. She's doing audiobooks. She's doing narration. She's doing commercials. She's down in Florida. She's having a ball. She has a really great second career in voiceover. You can look her up online and see. And there's another guy I need to talk to you about as well, Justin. Now, Justin is a voice talent out in LA, and he loves to travel, like really to far flung places. So he takes his voiceover gear with him. He told me he did voiceover from Borneo. I don't even know where Borneo is. I think it's one of the Indonesian islands. He went there with his partner to see the pygmy elephants, which he did. And in his little hut in Borneo, they had internet access. So he was able to do all his voiceover work for his clients in Los Angeles from Borneo. I mean, how cool is that? That's like so crazy. Some people, of course, don't want to leave their basement, which is fine too, that, that works. But then there's David Brower, another one of our students who actually lost his job. It was not nice. And, and it, right at the same time, he had some serious health issues, had a stroke, had a bout with um, prostate cancer. He's now like really big advocate for prostate cancer awareness. Fortunately, he's fine. He's in great health, but it was a wake up call for him. He always wanted to do voiceover full time, which he did. And he set up his business. Things got going really, really quickly. So he barely felt the pain of losing that job. He's now working. Um, he started his own um, advertising agency. He's doing fantastic. Several times a year, he's a Harley rider. So he and his wife get on the Harley. He puts his portable voiceover gear on the back. He hits the road. He does voiceover from motels across the country. I mean, this is an awesome life for a person over 50, isn't it? I mean, it's incredible. Um, 
there's Veronica Shea, who we and came to one of our boot camps, and now she's one, actually one of the regular voice talents that we hire. We use her. She's bilingual in English and Spanish, and I write her checks, so she, she makes a nice money for me every year. Uh, but she uses that money. She's got another day job. She uses all her voiceover uh, money to take awesome vacations. She goes to Europe. She's writing, you know, she goes to Asia. She goes all over the world on her voiceover money, and she's been doing this for years. Um, so these are just some examples of what the future could look like for you. It could mean an active, more secure retirement, having a home studio, having autonomy, having peace of mind where every single day at work is enjoyable. I mean, there just has not been a bad day in voiceover for me for all these years that I've been doing it. Just last week, I mean, I, I had a ball. I did a political commercial, one of those ones where I really got to trash the candidates. I mean, that was so much fun. And it's just you know, one of the types of things that, that I do in my voiceover career. But whether you turn it into a big career or have a thriving side business where you call the shots, it really can be the realization of a dream for you. Why not? There's tremendous opportunity, which I'll talk about in just a moment. So let me tell you about my story. And if you've heard this before, just bear with me for a second, but I know there's a lot of new people on the line. Now I came from a radio background, like some of you might have, but I didn't just have any radio career. I worked for a guy named Howard Stern, the Howard Stern. And this was a way ago before he became national. He was on the radio in New York and I was his traffic reporter and I was on a show actually for two years and he was, you know, doing the Howard Stern thing. I was getting abused on the air. I had a lot of fun actually. He's a very nice guy off the air, but I wasn't making any money. I mean, I was very famous. Everybody in New York knew who I was, but I really wasn't making any money. So I actually had to work day jobs during my radio career as a traffic reporter just to make ends meet. And I was a waitress, you know, good cash money. I sold deodorant crystals to funeral homes as a telemarketer. Very nice people, but that one didn't last too long. And I worked for a singing telegram company called Renta Yenta. That's New York for you, right? And one day, I, you know, the, the, the top of that situation happened when in the middle of the summer, they called me up and they said, okay, we have a job for you. We want you to go out to 7th Avenue and there's a little costume, it's a little elf costume. We want you to put this elf costume on, go to these people and sing an invitation to a fashion show. You know, in the summer, they promote the, the fall fashion shows. So it was New York in July, it was 100 degrees. I am dressed in a, an elf costume with a wool hat, with a, with a fur pom-pom and felt in elf shoes. And I am trudging down 7th Avenue and I am miserable. I was the sorriest looking elf. And I'm like, there has got to be a better way. I mean, there just has got to be a better way. I mean, I, 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 I radio is okay. I'm on the Howard Stern show. I'm not making any money. I'm broke. I have to leave that show. I can't take it anymore. And I'm getting into voiceover, which is where my dream is, but I'm just not making any money. I'm spending my time trying to negotiate just a little to uh, audition just a little bit better than everybody else. And it's not working. It's not working. I mean, I was at the lowest point of my life. I had all this credit card debt. I left the Stern show because I just couldn't take the humiliation anymore and being number two to Howard, you know, enough was enough and not making any money for it. So one day I'm going to do a voiceover. Because when you're on the radio, sometimes you, you you kind of by accident you get jobs, and so I got this job, and I'm because people hear you, and I'm reading with another male guy, and we finish, and we go down to the street, and he's getting into a beautiful Jaguar sedan. I mean, a really nice car, and I'm fishing in my pocket for a subway token, and I'm like. Oh, there's got it. There, what is wrong with this picture? He's obviously making a lot more money than I am. And I say, Bob, please, what are you doing that I'm not? Um, can I take you to lunch? And he goes, Don't worry, I'll take you to lunch. Let's go. So we go to lunch, and I say, Bob, please, why are you doing so much better in this business than I am? I, I'm, I'm auditioning. It's just, it's just not working out. And he said, Look, this is what I'm doing. He opened up his laptop and he said, See this? All of these people are my prospects. 
and these people are my clients. And when I'm not working, I'm marketing to my prospects so they get to know me and I'm staying in touch with my customers and I'm, I've built this incredible business. And he says, and I'm getting ready to retire. So it's been so good to me. I mean, he goes, I want to go to Florida. I've got a, bought a great condo. I want to spend time with my kids and my grandkids. And he said, and, you know what? You look like a nice girl. I'm going to give you, tell you how it worked for me. I'm going to share my secrets. I'm going to pass it forward. So I was like, I couldn't believe my good luck. So I'm sitting there at lunch with Bob and he starts telling me all these things that he's doing to market. And light bulbs are going off in my head and I realized if I wanted to be successful doing this, I didn't need to work harder than everybody else. I didn't need to audition better or more than everybody else. I need to study sales and marketing. That's where you really could succeed in voiceover. So it was like a real turning point for me in my career. So what did I do? I enrolled in every sales and marketing course I could. I bought a stack of books. I took courses I couldn't afford with the top entrepreneurs, the best of the best. And, and I put it all on my credit card. I said, this is worth it. And guess what? My career started taking off. I started booking work. I became the voice of AT&T. I became the voice of Citibank. I opened my recording studio downtown. And at the same time, I started teaching because I realized, well, if I'm going fully freelance, I need to you know, have some students on the side that'll help, help the cash flow. And what happened was both took off. So the more I taught, the more I gave, I realized I love working with you, you know, and I really developed a body of work and you know, a whole system for marketing and growing your business and for, for performing as well. And I call it the perfect performance system. Uh, and it worked, you know, phenomenally, phenomenally well. Um, and now I have a thriving, both a thriving voiceover business and a thriving school. So uh, what happened over the years now, fast forward, it's like 30 years later, and the Great Voice Company is in uh, Englewood Cliffs, New Jersey. We moved out of New York, and I've got a fantastic team here with me. We have trained literally thousands of people all over the world, but we have a thriving production company. I'm doing voiceovers every day because I love it uh, as the voice of Citibank. Um, I'm hundreds of other customers. I've got agents all over the country. I'm auditioning daily, just like you guys, because I love it. But we're, we also have a corporate training division and we're developing new e-learning programs around um, using your voice to sell better and better in customer service. So it's going to be very, very exciting as the company is growing and we are um, you know, doubling and tripling our sales and our growth. Um, so let me tell you why I'm teaching this to you, why I'm taking the time to share this with you today. I remember what it was like for me when I was struggling. And I really believe two things. I believe that if you have been blessed with success, you have to pass it forward. It's the right thing to do. You must do it. That's number one. Number two, this is the United States of America. I really believe in entrepreneurship. I come from a family of great entrepreneurs. This is the only place in the world, really, where you can have an incredible business doing voiceover, using your voice, working from home in your own studio in one of 14 or more niche voiceover markets. And what I've been able to do with that skill over the years has, I spent six weeks a year in Brazil. I can travel. The, I mean, this year, my boyfriend and I, we went to Spain for 10 days. We just took off. It was an incredible trip of a lifetime. Didn't have to worry about the money. You know, it was, we just, we just had a fantastic time. And I didn't have to ask a boss for time off. He did. <laughs> Not me, though. You know, I mean, you can't, I live in an incredible place on, on the Hudson River. I mean, you, this is, I'm so blessed. So why I'm doing this is because I want to help you. That's what life, the satisfaction in life is all about. It's the letters and the, the cards and the feedback we get from the people that have taken our programs that these dreams are starting to come through for them. And, and we're going to talk about this because I see voice talent struggling. You guys are still out there. You're on voice123. You're on voices.com, which are great companies, by the way. But people are doing thousands of auditions or hundreds of auditions and not booking work or barely booking work. They don't understand 
about what it takes to grow and run a real business in voiceover. Uh, so that's why I'm here today. And I'm, I'm going to bust some myths and give you some real actionable advice that you can take to your voiceover career right now. So let's reiterate what you're going to discover uh, on this call. And I'm going to get right into it in just a second. Uh, number one, how to avoid the number one mistake that almost all newcomers make and what you should be doing instead. Um, the winning voiceover strategy that's going to simplify everything for you in 2016 and shave years off your ramp up time. And then there's a success factor that's often ignored and it separates the winners from the losers. So uh, after today's call, you're definitely going to be on the side of the winners. All right. So let's get into it. The first law of voiceover success, which is actually the first law of success in any business that a lot of people completely miss. So they say businesses fail because of a lack of capital. You've probably heard those statistics that, you know, some astounding number of small businesses fail within the first uh, two years, six, six months. I don't even know what it is. Um, I'm here 30 years later. What did I do that was different? Well, I figured out this number one law and here it is. You can write this down. The who is more important than the what. The who is more important than the what. And I want to credit Dan Kennedy, who was my marketing mentor for sharing this with me. And it applies beautifully to voiceover. Let's talk about it. So the who in voiceover are your customers. You don't have a voiceover business until you have a customer. And boy, I see people getting this wrong every single day. They think the most important part is their demo, their voice, their studio, their turnaround time, their logo, their business card, their t-shirt, all that stuff. Okay, it's great, but it doesn't matter until you are for somebody, until you have a customer. So you got to start actually with a who in mind. Who are you doing this for? Who is your voice, your type right for? Who is the marketplace where you're probably going to have the best success based on your life skills? So for example, uh, you know, I am not going to be an audiobook person, and I'll tell you why. I'm not a trained actor. I mean, I could do an audiobook, but I just don't have it in me to read for weeks and weeks and weeks um, going through a book. It's just not my thing. But I ended up, and the market wanted me for voice prompts, for phone system work. And I've met millions over the years doing that kind of work. And I do commercials, and I love them. I've been on a ton of direct response TV shows. I do political ads. I've been doing um, you know, television promos. I've been the voice of Travel Channel, of Lifetime, of CNBC. I mean, that for me, I'm, I'm uniquely suited for that. It goes with my energy level. It goes with my personality. It goes with my, my radio background. So that's my who. I also can do medical narrations. I'm good with tough technical terminology. But I'll never do animation. You know, that's just not who I am. So a lot of people think that I, so I should be like all things to all people and have more chance. No, 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 no. Your entryway into voiceover success, what we do with all our students is we help you. Thing number one, find your who. And then we build your what so it appeals to the who. Does that make sense? Okay. So that's point number one. The who is more important than the what. Don't make your demo a magnificent obsession or a museum piece. It means nothing until you have a customer and you're in contact with that person to see what they want and need. Okay, second law of voiceover success. Specialize. Write this down. Specialize. Don't try to be all things for all people. I remember when I started out, I on my very first voiceover demo, I thought, I'm going to show what a great character voice actor I am. I'm going to put a witch voice on there. So I did. I'll get you my friend, you know, my pretty and your little dog too. I'm just, this is a horrible imitation of Wizard of Oz, right? I was doing my Susan Berkeley thing, you know, my warm yet authoritative thing. And then there was this just horrendous witch boy, voice. And I actually, I remember going, sitting in an agent's office one day and she said, what is with that witch voice? I was so embarrassed. I wanted to die. So uh, you, you should not try to be a generalist. 
yes, it's good to show range within your capability, but you want to specialize. That's why I always talk about niching yourself. That's why I was the first one, the first voiceover teacher to really talk about the niche markets, the voiceover niches. I've identified 14 of them and they're actually more as technology grows and changes. And so, um, when people come and they work with us and when they're at our boot camps, one of the first things we do is I take you through those 14 niche markets and I help you understand which one might be the best for you based on your voice type and based on the skills, the life skills you bring to the table. And that's how you figure out what your specialization should be. And once you do, you want to go deep in that niche like we have here at the Great Voice Company. And I got a confession to make. I don't have a deep internal love of doing voice prompts all day. You know, press one, press two. No, actually there's a lot. I, you know, we say a lot more than that. And I have wonderful customers that I, I love my customers, but actually the, the doing of voice prompts is, you know, it's some, it could be a lot more fun to, you know, really act a great commercial, but I'm not here for fun. I'm here for, for money and actually to have a great business and to have customers and to have a great lifestyle. So I'm, I'm happy. I accept and I'm grateful for that specialization that we have here at the Great Voice Company with, you know, really being deep in the telephony industry. And we do it not just in English. We, we work in all languages. And by the way, if you are able to speak of another language like a native, we want to hear from you. So you could just give us a con con reach out to us later. So that's that's point number two. The second law of voice for success is to specialize. What's the first one? The who? is more important than the what. The customer is more important than your demo. Uh, specialize is number two. And number three is the correct ratio of activity. Write this down. 70% marketing and selling, 30% performance. And a lot of people are going, whoa, no, say it ain't so. Isn't there somebody who can do my marketing and selling for me? I hate selling. I don't want to market. I'd rather have root canal. I get it. But that's because you have a completely wrong idea about what marketing and sales is. It's meeting people. It's delighting people. It's having great conversations. It's creating systems and actually working with systems that we have, templates and things like that, that you can just plug right into your own situation that are going to grease the skids for you. And then you get, you start by getting good enough. And as you work, you perfect your skills and your talents. Here's another bonus law. Uh, law. Can I give you a bonus fourth law of voice over success? Write this down. Talent is developed in action. This is not a career you come to because you have a ton of talent and therefore you're, you know, you're already a success. You're going to develop your talent as you do this. We're going to put, put you through our training programs. You're going to come out, you know, you're going to learn a ton, but where you're really going to come into your own and, and have your talent and be your talent is in the doing of voiceover. So really you should be spending like 70% of your time developing the business side of your thing at 30% of the time getting good enough so you can get out there and, and do great voiceovers for people. Because quite frankly, to most customers, they're not sitting there with a, a fine tooth comb. It's a bad metaphor, but you know, like Simon Cowell going thumbs up, thumbs down. They want to just make sure you can take direction. You read their copy well. You're easy to work with. Your audio sounds great. All of that stuff. So um, that's what I have to say there. So the correct ratio, 70% marketing and selling, 30% performance, and the bonus fourth law is talent is developed in action. All right. So you just learned how to develop, uh, how to avoid the number one mistake that most newcomers make, which is the who is more important than the what, number one. The winning voiceover strategy, which is to specialize, don't be a generalist. The often ignored voiceover success factor, which you should be focusing 70% on your sales and marketing and 30% on your performance. So now what? Let's talk about the solution to your problem. So here at Great Voice, if you've taken a look at our website at greatvoice.com, you know we train voice talent. We've done that for years and years. We really are the recognized leader. We have six-month programs. 
We have year-long programs, but we also have a Jumpstart program that I think you're going to be interested in because it's really what I want to talk to you about today. Here we've got a new year. We have an immersion program called our VoiceOver Bootcamp Recording Studio Immersion Experience where you are going to get incredible fast results in just three days with us in the recording studio in New York. Uh, and the next event is coming up in New York City in April, the second through the fourth. But this is not for everybody. So I wanna talk about who this is not for. If you are somebody who is a dreamer and you're a get rich quick kind of person who wants overnight results, this I'm going to be honest. I, I can't promise that to you. It is not. This is not an event for you. You should probably just click off right now because it ain't going to happen. I mean, you know, voiceover is a career like anything else. It just takes time to build and to grow. Some of our students, of course, get fast results, but then to really have a career that's going to last you for a while, it, it takes some time. But you can learn in three days with us a phenomenal amount that's really going to kick things off and inspire you and turbocharge. This is also not for people who aren't willing to work hard at growing their voiceover career. People who are dabblers and dilettantes, you know, if for you, if you're just thinking about this or people said to you, oh, you have a good voice, you should do something about it. You know, you're not really fully committed to making this happen. I'm really glad you're here today, and I, I hope you get a lot of value out of this uh, Google Hangout. But, you know, buy a, a book at the library, you know, take an adult ed course. Um, if you're not willing to work hard and and really uh, go forth, then the boot camp is not for you. It's it's for people who it's not for people who think they know it all. I mean, fortunately, we haven't gotten anybody like that for years. But if you're gonna come there and like try to show me like what you know, <laughs> it, I'm I'm not interested. Please stay home. It's not for people who are not willing to grow by investing in themselves and in their future. I mean, I did it when I was starting. I spent $5,000 on my first entrepreneurial seminar. And, you know, quite frankly, even today, I the more money I have to invest in my, I love going to seminars. Uh, you know, there are years where I'll invest thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 in my own growth and development in all areas of my business and my life. And of course, the boot camp is not for arrogant scene stealers who want to be the center of attention and disrupt the class, right? Okay, that goes without saying. But... Let me tell you why I built this. I built the boot camp because there really was a need and people were asking for a way to jumpstart their career. Uh, you know, many of the people who take our boot camp then go on to sign up for, for our six month and our year uh, long programs, but they feel that, you know, they've got a, a tough work schedule and they can get away to New York. They can come to New York, have a great time, by the way. They often go to shows at night or they'll extend their trip. Uh, and we're doing this in April, so the weather's going to be great. Uh, but they come and they really are grateful that they can jumpstart their career. They can build momentum in one jam packed weekend. And uh, it's the, it's a place to network and get support. And, you know, these are resources I wish I had when I was starting out. Something like this just didn't exist. So I built it. Um, and I put together a team of top-notch professionals to help you out. And I, I do these things in the number one recording studio in the, state, in the nation. It's called Avatar. Avatar Studios in New York City. And it's so much fun. And, you know... I also want you to be able to experience the thrill of working with the best professionals, people that I wish I knew. And I've got, I see one standing by. Adriana, are you there? Can Hi. You oh, great. There you are. Can um, Chris, can you tell me if people can see Adriana? You've unmuted yourself. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I hear you. Um, Don't see me, huh? Okay. You sound great. <laughs> now do you see me? Uh, it's Yeah, I see you. You're great. Okay. You're great. All right. Hi, everybody. So, so, Chris, can you just confirm, please, can someone from my team in the other room come in and, and make sure that Adriana is looking good and all of that? Uh, but I want to uh, just introduce my, my colleague, my friend, Adriana Davis. I mean, she is, uh, I mean, just phenomenal to have on our team. I've been working with Adriana for years and years and years. I've, I've lost track, Adriana. Have you? 
Uh, I count the uh, gray hairs in my head, but no. <laughs> yes, it's been a long time. It can't pull up simultaneously, though. It has to be one or the other. Okay, so uh, Chris is telling me, Adrian, it has to be one or the other. For us, that's torture. So you talk. Go ahead. <laughs> I have known Susan for 422 years, is what I am fond of saying. And I've known her from the point of view, uh, everything ranging from a student uh, all the way to a producer and film supporter, as well as a coach in, in the programs that we have at Great Voice. So tell people a little bit about your background, Adriana, what, what you do. I am a, a producer, I'm, I'm what they call a predator. I'm a producer, writer, editor uh, in New York. Uh, what that means is I produce and edit. I'm getting a lot of feedback here, so I'm just trying to fix that. Um, I get a lot, I, I produce uh, mostly uh, corporate and uh, videos, which sometimes people call narrations. And I've also produced film. I started in television and news many years ago, producing and editing. And uh, today I run my own company called D Squared Media and we produce in a multi range of different industries from medical and legal to all different kinds of um uh, all different kinds of documentaries as well where we do employ voice work as well and i've also been a voice artist myself so i've been on both sides of the mic as i like to say yeah and, and you hire to voice talent all the time which is great we do, um, because as I'm fond of saying, in medical videos, we can't just show a picture of a kidney. <laughs> it's not going to work. <laughs> we, we need no. to explain. <laughs> it won't. Okay. So you now, but what, what, what I want people to know that in addition to being a producer, somebody that is not just working behind the, the camera and the microphone every day uh, and hiring voice talent, you're one of, you are one of our top coaches. Okay. And in addition to uh, the wonderful, Randy Dean and Rose Tamburino, uh, and you have had some incredible success stories. So you coach people in our that six month program and that year long program uh, that I was mentioning, our Vodi and our our Platinum program. Um, in addition to being a guest at the boot camp, so often people will continue to work with you after the boot camp. And you gave me a, a couple of pages here of some of your success stories. So let's start. Tell us a little bit about Michelle Nadez. Yeah, may I say just one line first? Uh, I just want to say that the boot camps are my four favorite times in the year. Uh, it, every quarter that we do them or whenever we do them, I am very energized going in. I come out after speaking for six hours, sometimes straight. But understanding and work change lives, and I do feel that we have. And when I work with my students one on one since the beginning of, of the uh, when it was called Career Launcher Program, all the way through, um, I've watched people change and grow and develop and have these various success stories that um, I can kind of share with you now. And it's been three years' worth, so I've got a good uh, sampling uh, to be able to say that the research is true. Um, Michelle uh, Notif in uh, New York City, she's a, a, a human resource trainer at Madison Square Garden, which uh, uh, sports fans out there will know uh, and she ended up after the boot camp and private sessions with me creating her demo reel she's now the main voice talent for not just her own human resource department at Madison Square Garden but several other uh, departments because Madison Square Garden owners also own cable vision so that opened up a whole world of opportunity for her um, in addition, we had Steve Mallory, who's up in Northern California. Um, he was able to book internally um, at the office equipment financing company where he works. His training, uh, he actually did two reels with me and uh, attended the boot camp. Uh, he did a corporate reel and a commercial reel. And he was able to book um, internal uh, video communications for the company that he voiced and then he also was able to take they took those and recut them and made them local commercials so he was actually on local broadcast as well uh, he now is just signed on to do a project that he had some inside information about a new aerospace design project that will launch in China and Japan and he's going to be the voice talent for their what we call a corporate identity reel announcing the new design of this aerospace program then we had Dorian Taylor in Southern California, so we hit both ends of that state. Um, and she was able, right after her work uh, via uh, private sessions, 
with us to uh, be the voice within her company. Uh, her day job is an IT professional for a cell imaging instrument. I'm going to pretend I know exactly what that means, but I'm not sure. And it was called Zoe, but she became this character. Zoe uh, was paid $200 for 40 minutes right off the bat. Um, and thanks to a rate card that we had actually sent her to understand. Her her email response to me after she booked the job was, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Woohoo! <laughs> That's right. Adriana, can I interrupt you for a second? Because I got some great news. Uh, Larry Reeves just signed up for boot camp, so I want to give a shout out. Larry, Larry. Larry Reeves. <laughs> Sorry, I know we're not supposed to talk over each other. Sorry. <laughs> so Larry Reeves just signed up, and by the way, I've got a number of questions from you guys, and uh, we will get to those at the end of the program. So I just want to congratulate Larry, and Larry's actually one of the first five people to sign up. I've got some benefits and bonuses; they're actually on the sign up page. Uh, which we'll talk about in a bit. But keep going. Let's go quickly through some of the rest. Who Who's next? Got it. Um, and, and Dorian also actually booked a national commercial as her second. So, you know, that really, not just internally in her current job, but she was able to flip that around and get an, she's working on getting an agent now in LA. Vicki Faust in North Carolina, one of my favorite stories. Um, she actually was felt very repressed most of her life. She's a mortgage consultant in a bank. And she found that the boot camp and the sessions, private sessions, opened her up emotionally to the point where her bank manager complimented her that he'd been receiving nothing but praise of new praise from uh, the various clients she was working with in the ways that she was communicating with them post work with us in voice acting. So it benefited her not just as a voice actor, she started doing internal videos for the uh, bank as well, but it also added to, for extra pay by the way, and uh, but it also benefited her generally in her job. Uh, it made her a better communicator overall. And it's also not just current employees. Kim Johnson in Chicago um, was able to get her first paying job from a former employer once she had her demo in hand. And what she loved about it the most was with YM YWCA in Metro Metropolitan Chicago. She was able to get a whole list of contacts once the person, because they loved her demo reel so much, they referred her to other people that hire voice talent on a regular basis. So she booked a job and got future um, marketing opportunities. Some of our students have had success right from the studio where they recorded their demo reels, which we coach you through and we professionally produce for you. Very big uh, area between trying to produce your own demo reel and allowing production professionals to produce it. I strongly recommend that. Uh, Tim Nelson in Seattle, he booked two jobs at Mercedes Benz uh, during right during the audition that he was doing. The uh, sorry, during the uh, demo record he was doing, they hired him on the spot, put him on his uh, on their roster of voice talent, and he continues to work with that studio today. So does Jeff Dumont in Ithaca, New York. Uh, he was booked uh, immediately up in um, uh, Syracuse actually with a big nationwide PR firm just because he chose that particular studio to advertise his, uh, you know, to book his demo reel. And there they got to know him and he's working with them to this day, I, I believe. He actually wrote, I am on cloud nine. <laughs> I truly wouldn't be on the threshold of a wonderful new career if it were not for the great voice company, Susan and Adriana's support and encouragement. Uh, two, two last ones I'll, I'll get briefly. Um, Tom Manning of, of New Jersey was able to book um, several marketing spots. Um, they were corporate and he's just been hired. That turned into his first audio book. So in doing various corporate, as Susan was referring to niche markets, which many are in the corporate realm, he was able to get his work out there and that got him notice uh, for an audio book. He says, I can't believe what a long way I've come since then. I just want to thank you all for your efforts and let you in great voice know you are great at what you do. Thanks again. Last one, Kathy Hauk, who had had a business for a while in voiceover, but had, had not gotten to it and had, it was just kind of in rote mode. And then by work with us through the boot camp and then also with private sessions, she beefed up her website. She had a brand new demo reel to put out there and she uh, increased her work in telephony, like Susan was mentioning, and in medical fields with medical continuing education videos. Uh, again, one of those niche markets. Um, and then since then, she also did a huge job for Expedia that paid, I love this, over and above my former rate. So she increased her, her exposure and then also increased her pay along with it. And she was so appreciative of the guidance and direction we provided her at the boot camp and one-on-one. -on -one. And she says, I recall many of your coaching tips in a, in, a, in a happy way, and they always help me out. So those are just a few of the folks that we've been able to kind of change their lives a little bit, I hope. 
It, it's great. I mean, that's why we're here, really, after all. Uh, now, let's talk a little bit about how we're going to deliver this awesomeness to people at the boot camp, like what it actually looks like. So the boot camp, the next boot camp is uh, um, April. April 2nd and 3rd and 4th. So the 2nd and 3rd are Saturday and Sunday, where we are at Avatar Studios in New York City. I mean, the place... Paul McCartney, Bruce Springsteen, one to the last time we were there, Madonna and Tony Bennett were, not Lady Madonna, Gaga, uh, Lady Gaga <laughs> and, and Tony Bennett are recording right downstairs while we're, we're having our boot camp upstairs. I mean, it's like a New York dream come true to be working there. And we have our own studio all just for us with our own audio engineer and we're, we're having a ball. So people really bond. So the first two days are all about performance. And on day one, you and I are working with people. We're, we're, we're sharing my perfect performance method, which is the method that once you get, you have it for life. It's going to help you with any script you ever get in your whole life. And you're, you're going to learn it in a, in a group setting with a lot of support. We put you up on mic on these wonderful Neumann microphones, the best in the business. And we've got you on your feet. We've got you working on day one. It's all pure performance. Day two, Adriana, is your day. It's all about non-broadcast. So on day two, why don't you explain to us about this non-broadcast uh part of voiceover, why it's so important in today's voice talent, and kind of like what that day two is going to look like for people. Right. I, I prefer the term corporate, as Susan and I go back and forth on it, just because it's more, you know, instead of being a non, but, you know, we're corporate in the sense that we are in a lot of those hidden niches. I hit on a few of them when I was talking about medical, legal, uh, some of the areas I do patent cases for, um, for trial. We prepare the video material, multimedia material for that. All of this has a voice component. Um, and what what I do on day two is I take a specific deep dive with you into the world of corporate voice acting, or you might hear it called narration, and you might hear it called non-broadcast. They're all the same, um, but we take you into it, and we give you the five W's. We take you all the way through. We show you who you need to contact, where you need to, why and how to access. And it is it is approached differently. Corporate voice acting is approached differently. I'm fond of saying 90 five plus percent of your work will come from corporate because you can create those opportunities, which falls right in line with what Susan was talking about in terms of being your entrepreneur of your own voice acting business. Um, we'll give you the do's and don'ts. We'll tell you what to, I will tell you what to work on and what, what corporate producers like me like to hire and what we don't like to hire. We'll talk about pay structure. We'll talk about all the different levels of uh, voice acting that you can then market yourself to once you've had, uh, you know, a bit more training. Um, and I, I specifically do get into a lot of those niche markets because most people, and I, and I think it's an interesting perspective that I bring because I'm a producer and I work in those markets. And there aren't that many producers teaching voice acting but because I've been on both sides of the mic I, I do understand it uh, as do our other coaches they understand it and it's a big area that a lot of other programs do not get into they don't open up these small niches and these places where you can outperform your competition because they aren't there they simply aren't in those niches um, we also talk we also do a lot of practical uh, real putting you on the microphone with actual corporate copy real corporate copy names have been changed to protect the innocent but a uh, real corporate copy that I've hired for and worked with and I give you professional direction as does Susan so you're getting direction on how to improve your performance technique at the same time you're learning the insides and out of the industry itself um, and so that active participation in a studio may I I add lastly is the most important thing uh, you will then learn technique audio tech how to etiquette technique in a studio what to do what not to do and you won't feel like a stranger the first time you go ahead and either record in your own home studio or if you have to go to a studio you'll know how to deal with a director and uh, get a little bit into how to direct yourself as well too so that's a new area for us so I think I really think that uh, coming away bottom line for people when they come to boot camp it's gaining confidence Absolutely. to start your business, gaining confidence so that when you're out there at home, after you've gotten all your training, you not only know exactly how to, what to do with the training, how to find the work, where to, where to find contacts, how to market yourself, 
but you know what to do behind the microphone when it's just you alone in your studio. We want to leave you with that confidence to really move forward. And that's, that's what happens. So after Adriana does her stuff on day three, we meet in a conference center. It's for our marketing and tech check. So on the third day, the whole morning, I am walking you through my million dollar marketing plan. So you know exactly how to set up your business, where to find work and make it happen for you. Remember, I told you that should be as much as 70% of your activity in voiceover. And I make sure that you know exactly what to do when you leave boot camp. Then after that, we do what's called a tech check. So on day three, you can bring your microphone and your laptop and set yourself up right there in the studio in the studio in the conference center with christopher fox our audio engineer looking over your shoulder teaching you how to record basic audio edit basic audio and he'll be there troubleshooting and making sure that you walk out knowing how to use your home computer to record i mean what a fantastic fantastic you can see all the things we're packing into these three days so you're going to get the perfect performance method to learn how to do commercials you're going to learn all about corporate adriana and non-broadcast work you're going to actually record a spot that i'm going to direct you through on day two in avatar and then on day three you get my entire million dollar marketing program as well as a tech check you need it to make sure you know how to record and set up from home. So Adriana, I want to thank you. I'm going to see you really soon in April, on April 2nd in New York City at Avatar Studios. You're going to see Larry Reed. You're also going to see seven other people that have already registered for boot camp. Uh, yeah, woohoo. Two more. Two more people. Before you go, let's give a shout out to Beth Kucherazic. Beth, I'm so sorry if I slaughtered your name, but welcome. Thank you. And to Jan or Jan Alvarez. So those three people were really sharp. They took advantage of the fast action bonuses, which I'll tell you about in a minute. And I want to welcome all of you. And I'm going to get to your questions coming up. So super duper. That's great. Thank all you, right, everybody. Adriana. So I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for the time to, to do this. I look forward, look forward to meeting you all in person and getting to direct you with two words that describe the boot camp. Immersive, comprehensive, confidence building. I've run out of names. <laughs> will enjoy and I know one thing we do change lives at these programs so looking forward to it thank you everybody thanks Adriana bye bye all right so let's let's talk a little bit here about about the kind of money you can make I mean you know it's it's fun to do this but at the end of the day show me some money okay <laughs> I, I want to share with you some rates paid for recent voiceover jobs and that these are based on either things that we have made here at Great Voice or work that our students have done or colleagues of mine. So your results might be different. I just really want to say this. this there's no, nothing is guaranteed. You have to work hard. You have to do the work. So that being said, I just want to share this with you. So uh, for a 20-page non-broadcast corporate narration, non-union, 750 bucks. For, and again, your, your results may be different. For a local 60-second radio spot in a very small market, $75. For a three-page non-union broadcast training, $500. For the, vo get this one, I'm, this is so creative. For the voice of Christmas decorations for a rich guy in Florida, $350. Now you've seen these before. There's some people, some lunatics, who do these gigantic Christmas decorations in front of their house, and they put in a closed circuit radio station. And this guy had had one of those. He hired one of our students to be the voice of this of this closed circuit radio station for his Christmas decoration. So when you drove by, you would get like the full Christmas experience. She made 350 bucks for that. Um, for audiobooks, the average per finished hour, keeping in mind that books can range anywhere from six to 12 hours or more, is about 150 to $300 or more if you're established or you're a celebrity per finished hour. Uh, one hour e-learning narration, 1200 bucks, good money for finished audio. Uh, 200 telephone voice prompts, 150 bucks, 200 bucks, $250. A huge e learning project that I was referring to earlier that took a year to record from home, $90,000. Crazy, right? A four page medical narration, $750. A political spot, $500. Uh, video game residual check paid to union voice talent, 
a hundred thousand dollars this is by the way not typical but a friend of mine told me that's what he made he got a residual check from a really big video game that he did um, an 80 page business ebook for a financial advisor forty five hundred dollars this is real with something we did at our studio uh, took the talent I would say probably about two months to finish that and a large text-to-speech application for IBM that I did ten thousand dollars so these are just some one-off rates that are possible now but yet this is not a career builder let's talk about something really really important that you might not get or know yet the money in voiceover is made in repeat business it's called lifetime customer value this is the name of the game you guys when I started I had no clue and no idea so here's what happened something happened to me I had one customer who was like a very good fortune 100 customer that uh, I kept for about 20 years actually and I remember my first job for them was uh, $350 and I went I was curious like I wonder over time how much money I made with that one customer and I went back into my rec reporting, my uh, accounting software, and I discovered I made $1.2 million from one customer over about 20 years. Now, I don't have that money anymore. <laughs> that's a lot of money, and that's just one customer. I mean, I would have bought them a car if I had known that's how valuable they would be. But, you know, the way my business looks today, I have a mature voiceover business with you know, we have like 300 customers. I have a production company and we have six figure customers. We really do have quite a few of our customers that are paying us six figures a year. And, you know, it's a real business now with money we can count on, money I can count on. And, you know, some of my customers have been with me for five, 10, 15, 20 years. So that is serious lifestyle money. That is a real business. You see what I mean? This is not get rich quick. Yeah, you can make some nice money on those first few jobs, but most people don't think about this whole lifetime value idea and having a real business. And that's fine. You might just want a little money hobby, some Christmas money. I get it. But if you really want to do this as a lifestyle, you can. That's what I do. I built a real business. So when you come and you study with me, that's what you get. You get the how to do that. Not You get the performance how to, but you also get the business how to from somebody who figured it out. And I'm very, very generous with what I know. So let's talk about your investment for this. And again, I want to thank the people who've signed up today, uh, you know, Beth and Jan and Larry. I mean, you guys are, mwah, we will see you soon. Your name is added to the seven people that are already on the list. So here's your investment. You can pay, break this out into three monthly payments of $495, if it's easy for you, through the end of February. Then that's multi-pay is going to go away. Or you can save yourself $238 and pay in full at $1247. It's a great deal. Um, and I'm just going to say again, look, if you're happy, if you're doing this to make a little pocket change, this boot camp is probably not for you. Go on YouTube, go to the library, get some books, and you know, do this at and make a little $7,500 here or there pocket change. But if you intend to make voiceover a significant part of your future, I think you can see the value of what we've done. I mean, we just gave you a ton of uh, examples of, of case studies of some of our students, and there are many, many more. We, they're all on the web, website at greatvoice.com. You'll see them all, five-star reviews, people, actual reviews from people through Trustpilot. Um, and so, again, there's a payment plan. You register by by uh, the end of February, uh, but and you're going to break, you can break your tuition out. But I've got some bonuses for you. These are amazing bonuses that we've actually, frankly, never offered before. And everybody that's registered so far, even if you didn't register today and you're watching, don't worry, you're going to get them. Everybody that's registered. And the first five people that register today, we're already up to three. So there's two more people that can register that are going to get these bonuses. One is a 30-minute Skype consultation with Christopher Fox, who is our amazing, patient, brilliant audio engineer. Uh, he's going to, as you're setting up your home studio, even after you get back from boot camp and you need some help, uh, you can. We'll give you 30 minutes of Christopher's time. That's that's a $250 value, uh, just for being one of the fast movers today. And again, I've only got two more of those 
left. Plus, and this is the real value, you and I are going to get on the phone at any point, either before boot camp or after, for a 30-minute strategy session. Because I want to know, well, I want to help you develop your strategy for your year ahead in voiceover. I'm really good at that. And and you know, you and I are going to talk for 30 minutes. So I'm going to really help you get focused. So that's included as well. I mean, I gave that a $500 value. It's really priceless. Uh, people pay me a lot of money, and I really want to help you out uh, and make this real for you. Because as you see, Adriana and I, I mean, we've been teaching for years. We love doing this. If nothing makes our, us happier than getting those five-star reviews, than getting those honest from the heart testimonials from you that we've helped you. You know, both of us are busy. We've got other businesses we run. We don't need to do this. We love to do this. Neither of us have kids. <laughs> So for us, this really is like is a, is a huge thrill. It really, really is, and and the boot camp is. You know, I think you think you see it shows. We what you see is what you get with us. We're the real deal. So let me talk a little bit about the major transformation you're going to get when you make that leap of faith and say, "This is the year I'm doing my voiceover career. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm coming to New York April second through fourth, and I'm going to." Be with you guys. Uh, imagine living the life you love, your new home-based career be be behind the microphone. Imagine being able to say to your friends and your relatives, I'm a voice talent. That's my voice on that audiobook. That's my voice. I got to tell you a funny story. So I'm in Bed Bath & Beyond one day, and I'm like, I'm shopping. And I hear this like really familiar voice. And I, I'm like going, I'm following, I'm following. And I get to the station, you know, they have those videos that show you how to use a product. And it's my voice. <laughs> I didn't recognize it at first, but I was demonstrating how to use the OXO mandolin, which is like a chopping thing, you know, for cooking. <laughs> and I had recorded, I totally forgot. And that's my own voice. And I was like, oh, it's me, that's me. <laughs> and the, the sales lady comes over, really? Like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> But anyway, I mean, those kind of cheap thrills are possible in voiceover. I was so I had so much fun the other day doing a political advertise. I've called it, you know, Citibank. I'm now a Citibank customer. I get my own voice. You know, it's a cheap thrill, but it's a great thrill. It's made me a ton of money. So th that is so fun. And you call the shots. I mean, I can't get mad at my boss, right? It's me. Uh, every day is a new adventure. You have confidence. You have independence. And look, as I said in the beginning of this call, and I really mean it, in America today, you have got to have a side gig, a side hustle. This might turn out huge for you. It might not, it, but it might give you some security. And you know that if you want to really ramp it up or turn it on or you know use it as a fallback plan you have it going for you you have something a sec a plan b in retirement that's not going to require that you actually have to take a second job you can still travel you can kick back you can work from home this for a lot of people that's incredibly incredibly appealing or you can be like me i mean i'm a go-getter you can build an empire <laughs> that's what i'm all about um so however you want to play this it it works for you so look, here's how to register. You call us up, you talk to Mark right now. He's standing by at 800-333-8108. It's 800-333-8108. You can send him an email to talent at greatvoice.com or right here on the page is a link as well. You can click there, get the, the, the fast mover bonus. There are two left. I don't know what's how many there are right now. Okay, so now this is what I wanna do. You sent in some questions and I wanna make sure and I answer them before I go, okay? Uh, are agents mandatory? This is from Bernie Small. Hi, Bernard. Thank you for that. Are agents mandatory? You know what? No, you do not need an agent to get started. In fact, this I didn't have an agent for the first five years of my career, and only now, because it's fun, do I have like five or six different agents because I like auditioning and, and, you know, heck, I just might book something. But no, I built this all myself. And if you're depending on an agent to build a business that's going to make you money, it ain't going to work. So agents are nice to have. They will get you some auditions, but they're only getting you auditions. So you see, part of my marketing plan is teaching you how to find work without auditions. When you audition, you're up against hundreds of other people. That won't work for you. You want to shoot fish in a barrel. You want to be the only game in town. And that's the stuff I teach you at boot camp. That's the good stuff. Okay, so how can I get work before making a demo? That's from Christian Morales. Christina, sorry, Christine. Uh, 
you could do it. Unfortunately, it's tough. You know why? Because everybody's going to ask for a demo. Uh, it's kind of like trying to get into acting without a headshot. So you really do need to find a way to, to make a, a good professionally produced demo before you go out into the marketplace. Uh, unfortunately, it's just not going to happen on a, in a big way. Um, boot camp dates after April. Yes, stay tuned. I don't have them right now, but we'll probably do another uh, one or two before the end of the year. Okay, now I've been in the voiceover business for almost a year. This is from Chris Baker. Hi, Chris. Uh, I recently got an agent. How does one get IVR work or audition for IVR work? Well, you know what? Most IVR work doesn't run auditions. Sometimes there are auditions for it, but most of the time it's contacts. It's our straight marketing ploy. And then, you know, I'll, I talk about that a lot at boot camp. This is the area, you know, I really had to use a lot of alternative marketing because that is not one of the niches that runs through the talent agent flow. It happens from time to time for really big stuff like big GPS systems and, you know, I'm sure the voice of Apple. And I did audition for AT&T in the very beginning, but very, very rare. Uh, so you won't get that type of opportunity through agents. You need to work on understand marketing, which again is why I encourage you to come and, and work with us. Okay, where's the best place to have video, find video game jobs? That's from Steven Stats. Hi, Steve. Thanks for your question. Uh, best place is to reach out to game developers, uh, to read the game developer magazine, to go to their websites, to go to their conventions. We work one of our voice talents, uh, Michelle, is a big video game voice and that's how she did it she kind of uh, networked at the conventions and are places like voices.com worth the cost so i can't answer that for you it's an investment about i guess about 300 bucks a year a lot of people like it i mean the way i feel about those sites is hey what the heck they send you auditions you just might book something you can't be so tight with money you guys you're building a business you have to invest in yourself you got to do like 10 ways to market yourself not one way don't try to like just cobble together three hundred dollars and invest it no look for ways to spend more money on getting on building your business this is the difference between thinking like a voiceover entrepreneur and thinking like uh, you know a voiceover daily salaried worker you're not you're on your own now when you finally do this and so you do need to find ways to like invest in ways that are going to really help you grow your business, especially like training like this, that it's real world. Um, is there anything more than introductory beginner information? Ryan, Ramon, I'm not a newcomer. Well, yeah, no, I mean, the boot camp is really, people come to that with mature careers. It's, it's high level, very, very high level. Um, and let's see the minimal cost for a, a home studio from Steven Schultz. Hi, Steven. I would say to get a, a pretty good home studio, you're looking to invest. I mean, I have a $200 uh, Apogee microphone that I love. That is my go-to microphone when I'm on the road or working from home. Here at Great Voice, I, I use a $1,000 microphone. I use an AKG 414. But uh, when I'm on the road, I have a fantastic $200 aud uh, Audacity that um, Apogee mic that I would highly, highly recommend. I mean, it's it just sounds terrific. And you know, the software is free. So that and your normal laptop, you're pretty much in, in business. However, you need to pay attention to sound isolation, you guys. We cover that at boot camp. Uh, so there's a lot of moving parts to voice to voiceover. And that's why we we do boot camp to simplify it all. So let me just close out. I want to make sure you guys know uh, what the next steps are. If you're on the fence you have questions mark is here he'll help you out uh talent at greatvoice.com is his email address the phone number here is 800-333-8108 the link is right here on the page i think there's just two spaces left to get those awesome bonuses so i want to thank everybody who registered today and all the people who are uh going home talking to their spouse and are going to register tomorrow <laughs> keeping in mind you have that great three pay option till the end of february if there are seats left we really have a tight uh we can only really fit like 18 to 20 people in the room once we hit that and we're more than half full now uh unfortunately we'll have to close this one down but uh that's it i mean this was a ton of fun I see uh, several hundred people have stuck with me for this whole hangout. So I, I really thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this and we are, we have recorded it. So we'll put the, we'll put the link up, but so that's it. I'm going to say goodbye 
And thank you all very much. Happy New Year. We'll talk soon.